Hey guys, and welcome to my video on how to fire events, uh, specific, specifically on button clicks uh, in GA4. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so basically, I've just done a video on how the basic setup of GA4, which is basically um, creating a Google Tag Manager, um, adding a GA4 configuration in as a tag, which you can see it's done here. Um, and then also adding it to your um, site. So I've got mine in high level, but it can be like unbalanced WordPress and anything. You add the um, GTM into it, which on high level is done here. You put it in the he uh, the head in the head tracking and the body in the body tracking, um, and then that will fire your J4 configuration inside this web page. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I have got the video and I'm just popping that in the top top corner now. So you can go have a look, look at that one first, set that up, then come back and do, do the button clicks then. Okay. Um, but going on with the button clicks, um, the first thing we want to do um, in Tag Manager is basically we want to go to variables. And we want to add some click variables in there. And this basically what this does is when you're on the page, um so your web page and when you click and in preview mode in tag manager this will bring through click events and you can see uh specific uh data on that click and this is what's going to help us fire uh, our events based off of that basically um so that's the why we're doing it um so you just want to go to configure scroll down and there should be these clicks here i went to click all of them like that and then come out um, and then press submit, uh, like so. So you'll have those built-in variables done um, now. Okay, uh, now next up, we wanna go and create uh, a tag uh, based off of all um, button clicks, basically. Um, so we're going to go to new, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to triggering. Um, and basically you want to go and just create a trigger uh, and you want to call this um, all clicks and click into trigger configuration and you want to go down to um, all elements and you want to do all clicks and just press save. Okay, and now we come out of there and we just want to go into triggers and just make sure it's been added you can add it in triggers as well um, so you can either go there or come to triggers and press new and create it that way like we've just done but as you can see um, that's created now so we want to press submit I want to publish that as well um, and then what we want to go and do is we want to go into preview mode which will open up the tag assistant and they want to connect a site that has got uh, Tag Manager on it. So it's very important you've got Tag Manager on the site you're going to. Um, so we are going to go to my page. I've made a very simple um, page just to show you how this works. Um, so we're going to press connect once that's in. page out here this is, this is just a basic high level template uh, sorry go high level template for, for, those, for those who don't use it um, so we can see that the j4 tag has been fired here which is good so that's that's been firing on every page um, now I've set up this button here and we're going to just click it so as you can see uh, we've got some data here now uh, so this is on the home page that, that's on the thanks page um, if we went and press click this button as well on, on the thank you page, um, that goes back to the home page. So as you can see, there's, there's a few click things in here. So this click was the first click on the button. This click was the button click on the thank you page. So it's pulling through all the click data uh, that we need, basically. Uh, so let's go to the first click we did. Um, and what, then what you want to go and do is you want to go to variables. And this will give you a lot of variables that you can look for um, to fire your button off of basically. 
so you can see the click text uh, is one thing that you could do it off of. Um, there's also normally um, some may maybe a click idea or a click target that hasn't come through in this. So I would be, um, I think I'm going to do it off the click text. Let's just see what this button did. It's the same, so obviously that changes. So you want to make sure this is something that's very unique to the button as well. So if you've got loads of buttons with uh, with the same CTA, this will fire on any button that's clicked. If you wanted to track uh, buttons individually, I would try and amend um, some of the click text on there if that's what you're going to go after. Um, you could uh, you could also go after the element. Um, it's a bit harder to nail nail it down though. Um, so I, I normally go after click text. Um, but now we know what's coming up, we can um, fire it off of that. So we want to go back to Tag Manager and go to tri to Triggers. And then we want to um, get r rid of this one. Don't need this one anymore. And we can press a new trigger. You want to go to All Elements. You want to go to Some Clicks. And this is when you want to go to Click Text. And then you want to pop in the click text that you saw. So you can easily go and just copy and paste it. Don't include the uh, speech bubbles. Um, and then that's that. And then name your button. Cool. And then I'm going to create another one just for the second button click as well, just so we can track different buttons which will help you know who's clicking on what so this is expect is this is especially helpful if you've got quite a long a long web page that has got multiple buttons on it and you want to see where people are clicking or how far down the page they're getting before they're converting um, that is quite useful uh, in lead gen especially um, so again we'll just name this Okay, cool. So that's our triggers sorted out. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to go and submit and publish. And then we want to go and figure out um, how we actually get this data into high, um, into Google, uh, Google Ana Analytics now. Um, so. Okay, so let's go and set that up now. I'm going to go back to tags. I want to press new tag. Uh, and let's just name it first. So it's um, GA4 button click. Click to sign up. It's the first button we're going to do. I'm going to go to GA4 events. Uh, so six select the configuration tag. So you want to select the um, the GA4 config that you'd set up already. Um, and then the event name, you just want to type in button underscore click. And you want to go to event parameters. Um, and then you want to go um, button name. And then the value, uh, you want to go and select the click text. And that's a dynamic feature now. Um, and then you want to go to advanced settings. You want to go to tag sequ sequencing. You want to fire a tag before GA4 button click. Um, and you want to go and again, select your GA4 config tag. And then for triggering, you want to go and select the click to sign up. And you want to press save. Um, cool, so that's all done. Um, then you want to go in and just copy it if you've got other button clicks that you want to do. Um, this one's visit our website. There we go. Um, again, it's button click, button name. It'd be exactly the same, exactly the same. You just got to change it. Um, just got to get rid of this one and add your other one we created, which is this one here. And then just save that. Then you want to submit and publish. 
Okay. Um, and now we want to go and test it. Um, so we just want to come out of these two that we, that, that we were in, the preview mode. We want to go back to workspace. We want to go back to the preview section again. Uh, and again, make sure you've submitted it and published it. Um, and then we want to go back to the same web page, let it connect. Okay, cool. So as you can see, it's got these things here. We're going to go click on the button now. And let's just see what's come up. So link click. So it has shown that um, the button has fired and it's the correct button that's fired. Um, only this one, uh, which is perfect because it's fired on that, uh, which is all good. Um, and it's important that this one hasn't fired, so it's not gonna give data for the wrong button. It's gonna track the correct button. Um, and then we want to go and click. This is the se this is the second page. We want to go and click this button just to double check this works. I want to go back. It's on the thank you page. Uh, I want to click the button. Click here. And again, it's visit our website that is now firing, not the click here to sign up. Um, so yeah, that's all firing correctly. Um, the last thing we want to go and do is we want to go and check that it is now populating inside analytics. Um, so let's just go to the home page. So it takes a while for the actual data to be um, shown into the um, the dashboard of uh, an analytics, but we can go to uh, real time, which you can go to finding reports and real time just to see if it's working. Um, and this is kind of like the real time um, of it so you can see um, it's noticing that this is from high level users obviously it's just me uh, and over here is the event count by name I think this is in the last you know, half an hour I believe it is so you can kind of see what's going on here uh, so it has some generic events that it tracks so page view scroll user engagement user start but here's what we've set up and it is the button click so if we click on the button click uh, you'll get the following event parameters um, so obviously we want to go to button name because that's what we've called it. Uh, click on there and you'll see the events. So as you can see in the last um, 30 minutes, uh, I've clicked on the click to sign up three times and I've clicked on the visit our website twice. So it's how it kind of tracks how many times people click the button um, and send it into high level, um, not high level, Google, Google Analytics. Um, so that's all working. Uh, obviously, I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's in the dashboard. It can take up to 24 hours, though, to populate in the dashboard. So on the current day, it's always best to look um, at the, that kind of stuff um, the day after. Um, but yeah, so that's how you set it up in Google Analytics GA4 um, and bring in that through uh,